Hi, this is Dr. Daniel G. Miller. I'm a board-certified chiropractic neurologist practicing out of complementary medicine and healing arts, 27 Jenison Avenue, Johnson City, New York, 13790. Our telephone number is 607-729-0591. You can also reach us on the web at www.naturallywell.us. Today we're going to start talking a little bit about some therapy used via optic kinetics. We utilize optic kinetics and optic kinetic strips in functional neurology in order to look at how the brain, through using our eyes as the window to the brain, is functioning. Now, when you're in the office, we explained optic kinetics, and in this uh, particular video clip, we're going to be moving quite quickly into uh, providing a therapeutic approach. So, we'll be doing another one getting into the uh, nooks of optic kinetics. However, while you were in the office, we used one of these optic kinetic strips, running it back and forth and looking how your eyes moved, how they pursued it over and saccade back. And in doing that, we were looking at to see how, depending on the direction we were going, so right there in front of me, moving to my right, if I was looking at it, we had been looking at the functions of the right frontal lobe, the right parietal lobe, and the uh, left cerebellum. So <clears throat> for whatever the condition that you've come in and we've talked about what's going on, we may have decided that we're going to use optic kinetics as part of our therapeutic approach. So since our computers have changed quite a bit and the Hemistim program that I used to give out um, no longer is really working in the newer versions of Windows, I, I made some video clips and we're going to be putting them out there so that you can actually watch the, the hemi stimulation that's right for you and be able to continue with your functional neurological uh, therapies. In the one that we're going to do today we are going to be using it so that the optic connect strip was moving to the left to affect the left frontal lobe, the left parietal lobe, the right cerebellum. The strip itself, uh, the time of the clip is two minutes. Now most people will not last two minutes while watching the optic kinetics. Remember you're going to be just relaxing your eyes, you're going to be looking forward and allowing not your eyes to follow across per se, you're going to let it relax so that they oscillate back and forth. A lot of times it's best to have somebody watching to make sure that you're not just going over and having your eyes stuck over to one side of the uh, visual field. So, if you can have someone watching with you, that that really be a good thing until you get comfortable doing it. You kind of want to relax, have your eyes so that they're constantly picking up a red line as it goes so that your eyes are oscillating back and forth. How long is too long? As we talk about in all our videos, uh, we don't want to go to metabolic fatigue. We want to look for signs of the autonomic dysfunction, tearing of the eyes, bloodshotting, just your eyes feel funky and you got to look away. Those are all signs that enough is enough. Uh, same thing if you start to sweat other areas of your body, um, if you start feeling a headache, you've definitely gone too long. In fact, if you start feeling a headache, that's going to be the end of therapy for a while. We're not here to try to stimulate a headache. Again, uh, precautions uh, with any visual stimulation program. If you have a history of epilepsy, then you really need to be speaking to your healthcare provider. Uh, if it's not me, to find out if this is an appropriate action to be taken at all with you. So, um, in this case, this is a therapeutic exercise. So, we don't want to just go ahead and say, we found this on YouTube, let's stare at it and see what it does, because you could actually be stimulating the wrong area of your brain and making a condition worse. So, uh, we want to be careful with that. Now, in the next, uh, so what you want to do is you want to sit comfortably in the chair, you want to be upright, eyes looking forward. You want to be about 18 to 24 inches away from your computer screen. What you're going to do is, when it comes on, the red lines, red and white lines are coming. They're going to be going across this way. You want to be able to relax your eyes, not visually fix, because we want them to be able to oscillate. If you're visually fixing, you're just holding a point. You want to have them relaxed. You're going to be seeing them going across continuously and you just want to be able to constantly let your eyes re-pick up the next red line as it's going and your eyes will go like my hands are 
see how it moves kind of a little bit slower to the left and then it springs back to the right. <clears throat> and again, watching for those signs that we talked about for autonomic uh, distress. So enjoy the video. If you're unsure or have any questions, please give us a call at the office. Again, the telephone number is 607-729-0591. Or you can give us a message through our website at www.naturallywell.us. Thank you and good luck with your therapy today.